This video will demonstrate how we calculate the kappa measure of agreement. This is commonly used in medical literature to look at or assess inter-rater agreement or reliability. So example would be assessing the diagnostic capability of two different clinicians. Or we can also use it to determine the consistency of two different diagnostic tests or two different type of assessment techniques. So maybe a newly developed test versus an established or gold standard test, or maybe the diagnostic capability of an experienced clinician versus an inexperienced clinician. So the research question or example we're going to use um, in this video is we're trying to determine how consistent the diagnostic classifications are for two types of depression scales, one known as the uh, EPDS and the other known as the DASS. And we're just trying to determine how consistent these two diagnostic techniques are compared to one another. So we've got two tests. Both have categorical outcomes. They either are depressed or not depressed. And so one of the assumptions here is that we have an equal number of categories between the two uh, variables or to the two factors. So we have two tests here we're trying to compare. And so each of these tests have two diagnostic levels, either positive or negative for, for depression. Um, and so that's one of the assumptions. We need to make sure that uh, both uh, factors have similar numbers of categories. So how we perform this analysis is we go to the Analyze menu, we go to Descriptive Statistics, and then we go to Cross Tabs. So we want to make sure we're moving our two variables into the Rows or Columns box. Uh, in this case, it doesn't really matter which is which. Um, typically, what we would do is move our, our gold standard, if we had one, into the columns uh, and move the new technique into the rows. So once we've done that, and we're going to assume this, this EPDS is our gold standard and the DASS is, is the new test we're trying to determine its consistency. So the next thing we need to do is go to the Statistics button okay, and make sure that Kappa is checked because we're doing this kappa measure of agreement. Then we click continue. Next thing we do is go to the cells button and make sure we've got the observed counts checked and then make sure we're going to see percentages in the row and in the column. And this is going to allow us to look a little deeper as far as um, how we can interpret the outcomes here. So once these three boxes are checked we click continue and then we click OK. So the first output box that we're interested in um, is labeled as symmetric measures. And this is going to give us an idea of, of what level of agreement um, is there. And so we can look at two things. We can look at this kappa value, and then we can also look at the p-value associated with that kappa value. So as we can see here, our kappa value for our data is 0.570 and that's associated with a p-value of less than 0.05. It's actually quite small. It's less than 0.0005. So this would be statistically significant in saying that the level of agreement is strong or the level of agreement is statistically significant. Some authors also place some, some qualitative value to this kappa value saying that a value of 0.5 or greater for kappa represents moderate agreement. Um, above 0.7 represents a good agreement and above 0.8 represents very good or, or strong agreement. So in this case we have moderate agreement between our two um, tests. Now what we can also get from this is the sensitivity and specificity of the measure or of the tests. And remembering that sensitivity reflects the proportion of cases with the disease or condition that were correctly classified or correctly diagnosed. And specificity represents the proportion of cases without the condition that were correct, correctly classified or diagnosed. So we can, using the cross tabulation table, we can get the sensitivity and specificity measures for this DASS um, assessment relative to the gold standard of the EPDS. So the first thing, in order to determine the sensitivity, we can go to the second column, and we can look at, um, of the, uh, 
of the 81 cases um, diagnosed as depressed by the EPDS, we can see that 47 or 58 percent of those were also correctly or were correctly diagnosed by the DASS. So that gives us a sensitivity uh, of 58 percent. So again, that of the 81 subjects diagnosed as, as depressed by our gold standard, uh, a little more than half were also correctly diagnosed or were correctly diagnosed by the DASS. Now to look at the specificity, we can read down the first column and again the number of people classified as not depressed by the gold standard, the EPDS. It appears that about 230 were correctly diagnosed as not depressed by our DASS instrument, which is about 94%. So again, the, the, the sensitivity of the DASS was found to be about 58%, and the specificity was found to be 94%. So it appears that we've, we've, we're pretty consistent um, between the two scales as far as the, number, the case is classified as not depressed. However, there appears to be um, some inconsistency as far as diagnosing the, the cases that, that actually were depressed. So this would call into question the ability of our DASS instrument to correctly diagnose individuals that have the condition, but it seems to do a fairly good job of ruling out people that that don't have the condition, in other words, identifying people that, that are not depressed. So to summarize, the, the CAPA measure of agreement is a way we can look at quantity or excuse me, categorical outcomes in order to determine the consistency of agreement between two measures or two measurers, depending on the situation we're in. And we look at the, the actual CAPA value of agreement to determine the consistency, we can use the p-value to determine the statistical significance of that agreement. And then using the cross-tabulation table, we can determine the sensitivity and specificity uh, of a measure compared to a gold standard or the sensitivity and specificity of one rater compared to another rater.